Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another episode of The Brewery. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a pretty great day myself. Actually feeling pretty good because I've got all of this week's videos done. Um, and so I'm working on next week's. Um, and so I hope you guys like the first episode of The Brewery. I have done a little bit of work. Uh, last episode we worked on this dock area and I lost some footage and stuff. We didn't actually get a decorator or anything. Um, but I've done a little bit of work uh, off camera, added some of these birch beams in. I think they look really good, kind of help texturize it a bit. Um, and I worked out this path to the house. Now I think I am gonna change this a bit um, more because I have, I found a house design. Currently this is the path we've got. I'm using colorful fish scale cobble, dirty fish scale cobble, and regular fish scale cobble um, as a mixture uh, just to make this path interesting. I've got the wood and it kind of just varies out and then it comes up to here to the house. Now I have the, a um, style I think will be really cool um, and I wanted to also before we get like crazy in, into this um, just because I know some of you like to answer questions and stuff early on I wanted to ask if you would like to have this played in shaders or not. This is what it looks like without shaders, and I think, it, I mean, it looks perfectly fine. Here, let's turn the music off, or at least down. We'll turn it down. Um, but with shaders, this is what it looks like. It's Conquest of the Sun. There we go. So this, this is what it looks like, and it looks like it's pretty... Let's see, time set will go 2000. There. So it's like it's, it's definitely not bad. Um, we'll go 5000. So it's like right above. So it's a little brighter. Uh, and it's a little harder on my PC, but I think it can handle it. These, I, I don't think these shaders are too crazy. Um, I like them. I like what they look like. I like what they make out there look like. Like it's kind of foggy. Um, but uh, this episode, I think we'll just go without them. Uh, maybe tour around at the end with them. Um, but yeah, so I made this off camera and I've been slowly transforming. In the last episode, we talked about the idea of taking this and making it a snow biome sort of island. Um, and what I'm kind of thinking is since there's islands off in the distance and around that we can make each island different, if that makes sense. Like each island's kind of more like a different elemental state. Um, not these close ones. These I think would probably be snow as well, um, but be kind of different. Be, be, I think, kind of unique and fun to do. Um, so I've been changing uh, this landscape and I mean the easiest way I know how currently is just by using the uh, replace command and uh, yeah I just assign it to the axe I've got here in my hand if you guys know better ways of doing this please please help me because <laughs> I don't know I'm just doing this because I figure this is uh, not terribly inefficient way of doing it. I could be completely wrong. I don't know world editing stuff at all. So this is just what I've been doing. It's not a ton and it doesn't take too long. Like I, I've done all of this in like, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. It doesn't take long. If you guys don't know how to do that, uh, let me cancel out here. So right now, uh, nothing is bound. And what, what it does is it takes anything that's in your hand that's not a block and it could just be your bare hand. I use a tool, uh, I've been using the golden ax just cause gold tools suck <laughs> and uh, don't get used. And so I figured this would be a good use for it. Um, I use the gold ax and all you do is R slash REPL and then whatever block you want. And so like snow is 80. And so now I can replace it. And once you have this going, you can break and it'll be switched to grass. Um, but just little tips and tricks if you didn't know. I don't think I actually want to replace this with snow. 
now that I think about it. I think this will be kind of rockier. Uh, and I don't know what to do. I don't know. Do, do, do snow places, like, would they even have sand? Or would it be more like gravel? Or would it be just more like what we've got going over here in the more detailed area where it's more just ice? I think it'd probably just be ice. And so we could have snow coming all the way out and surround the entire island with like a layer of ice that's floating kind of like this i think that could be really cool um so i have an idea for a house uh and it's gonna be interesting and so i think this series what i'm gonna do is less building on camera and more showcasing um i think that'll make life easier and make the the uh videos less um less long i guess is what i'm thinking of i think i'm gonna have to actually change this because this is not this is even numbered and i don't like that um but i have a build idea so let me get to work a bit on that so this video is i'm gonna aim for these videos to be like 15 minutes long uh, that's my goal so let me get to work on making the house and i'll give you some updates as we go so i'll see you guys in just a few all right guys so done some work also found these little floating ice things they're just like lily pads but floating ice and i think that's really cool um so yeah that's fun um so i did a little work i made a house it's a pretty massive house um and the pathway i also added this was frozen dirt and I think that fits really well. And I think it's really cool. And I replaced the sand with the frozen dirt. And I think I like that more. Uh, I am gonna go through and add in like, change stuff out for snow a bit. And I think that'll make it a little more believable. Why won't you go on the frozen dirt? That's weird. It wouldn't go on the frozen dirt. Huh. Okay. But I think that is, this might be our option. And I think the music's rather loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Um, go away. So this is what I think we're going to go with. Um, in terms of the shoreline is the frozen dirt and snow mixture. And then anything... There's also a fro uh, like a, a a frozen stone or a uh, frosty stone, I think is what it's called. May add that in, um, but it looks better, I think, mixed into the house's stone bottom. Um, so yeah, so first off, the pathway hasn't changed much. I've done a little bit of like it, the door used to be right here. I've changed it so it goes over here. And uh, so that there's this little entrance here. Um, and ooh, and there's these cool little icicle things. I think these are really cool and they're stackable. So you can just do like one, two, or that one's three. And you can, you can do like really big ones. Um, interior, nothing. Uh, you can see it goes over to the left there. I uh, haven't done the interior of this. The bottom area, I don't think is gonna be like a big, area a big deal um this i want this is how much snow i want there's a reason why it's so tall is because i wanted this area to really be super snowy and like they plowed all this and we'll be building up the sides of this and doing some detail like this sort of stuff to make this really nutty and crazy um I think that'll be cool. So we're gonna have like this, and I may actually make this wider so this is cleared off and we aren't building onto it now that I actually do all this. Um, just a thought. Just so we have this nice texture, but then we also have the cool snow. Cause I don't want it, cause if you, if you like plowed all this and that you need a place to throw the snow. So I would figure it would just be thrown like right or, right along the side. Uh, also a plant, uh, these are two plants I think would be good. This is, 
I don't know how to pronounce it. I want to say it's it's just lichen, but I don't know. L licken. Licken. No, it's not licken. I don't think so. This is a frozen tree, I believe. Yeah, and it's stackable as well, so you can make some uh, little frozen trees. I'm not sure how much I like that. I like it like this, but other than that, I don't really think it's necessary. All like, we'll have a f maybe a few, but I don't think it's gonna be crazy necessary. Uh, just wanted to, I, I tried to throw out stuff that I thought we could have around here. Excuse me. Um, so anyway, moving on to the house. So it's uh, frosty, I don't want to say frosty stone brick, frozen stone brick, and cobblestone, Wait, frozen cobblestone, right? Yeah, frozen cobblestone, cobblestone, and then this is stucco, clean white plaster, sorry, they, they were very similar. Uh, we're going to go through and texturize this and make it different, and it's not going to just be a blank wall, there's going to be windows. Um, just have to get the floor plan laid out and figured out on the inside before we do any of that. Um, so we can go through and texturize that probably, we'll probably work on the house a bit in the next episode and I'll do a little bit of landscaping and stuff in between episodes just to get it a little nicer looking. Um, I like what we've got going, I think it's cool. I also am thinking about, if I can, uh, changing the biome to a snow biome in this area just so when it rains it, it just snows i think that would be really immersive and really nice um so yeah so idea oh and this is the frozen stone well this has got a frosty frozen top as well like snow covered top um, but that's what frozen stone looks like or er, frozen i don't know what it is frosty frosty stone um yeah it doesn't I, Okay, so you come, you come down the path, and then you can either go there, which is probably more the path to get into there would be they'd come here and go around to get in, and it would be like storage and stuff. I'm not sure. I think that the bottom side, it's going to be much more of a storage sort of situa situation for the whoever lives here. Um, my thought is, since, since we've got the cave system here, and we've thought, oh, poor Piggy, uh, since we've thought about... Uh, doing a sort of mine situation um, that maybe this is the, a per, the whoever owns the mines house this is where they live this is also where they store everything and so they needed a, a decent sized basement to store things for transportation and stuff whenever they ship stuff out that's kind of my thought um, so you come up around here haven't done anything with the path just laid down the whatever this is um, and I'm gonna definitely be doing this sloping up to here I'm not gonna have this be like this uh, honestly it'll probably come all the way up to here um, but for now just for sanity's sake just made a simple staircase uh, we've got a, this is the acacia door really cool texture um, and then I have this I decided to make this wooden kind of add-on uh, and I think it's really cool I went off of a picture of it's actually a Lego build which is interesting but a picture of this Lego build that is a house very very similar to this um, and I wanted to give it a shot and see what it was like and I think it's pretty good I like it uh, I definitely added my own touches like the top portion we'll get to in a second just what they are uh, whatever those things are, added some shutters. They close weird though, but I mean they attach fine. Um, these things we'll get to in a second. Interior wise, I just put in a floor. It's the same as our dock, but with a spruce texture, and this is a dark oak beam. I think it looks really good. Uh, just variating it, trying to make it look interesting. And then you've got this, uh, excuse the air conditioner, sorry. Um, and I'm thinking the ceiling will be slabs at the top here, uh, being right here. Or, actually I'm thinking maybe a block. Ooh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, actually, 
yeah, these aren't seen, so we don't even need these here exactly. We'll just do uh, slabs or something. I don't know exactly what we'll do. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, for the roof, we are using gray roof tile stairs, and I think they look really good. Uh, stairs and blocks, and I mean, they just look like black shingles, and I think they look pretty dang good. Uh, this is just vertical plank stairs as the border. And then this cool thing is called a wooden, they're wooden supports. And they're pretty cool. I am pretty happy with them. They also act like uh, weird little shelf thingies. I think that's pretty neat. I like it. Um, but what I did with them on the top was I was originally going to have stairs and stuff. But for some reason, my heart was drawn towards this alteration of a support uh, to make this design and I, I mean I think it looks pretty good I like it I think it looks pretty neat makes the build unique makes it stand out um, and gives it a little bit of that I don't know exactly what sort of flair I'm thinking I don't know if it's Nordic I don't know exactly the type of build I'm thinking of but it gives that sort of makes it fit I feel like you need that sort of roof style um in a snowy area for some reason in my mind that's just where my mind went when I made this so we got that and I think it looks pretty good I like it um I think that's honestly it sorry the yawning I did not sleep well at all last night just struggle bust for all of eternity last night it was not fun um so let's let's work on this path and I think I am going to silly try. Uh, like I would never have thought that just a snow layer for for most every block is would like re help I never thought that that would actually be a thing uh, we'll extend it out onto the path like this um, and then, sure, we'll have a little bit there and there, and we'll come out onto the path a bit. Not a ton. I mainly just didn't want to cover the whole path with snow because I would figure that they would do a better job <laughs> than that if they were going to be doing that. So, yeah, I think that looks fine. Um, but then we'll have it down along this side of the path too. And then I think I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is get some snow and just like go along and make it look like they've been piling up. And we don't, I mean, We'll keep a, a little a little thing open. Maybe there'll be a path. We'll work out a path later. All right, guys. Sorry, I just started rambling and uh, I does I I didn't need to. That um, was pretty pointless talking, anyways. Um, so I have done both sides and kind of gotten the idea that I want to go for, and I think it looks pretty good. It looks like it's very snowy, <laughs> and that there's just a lot of snowfall, and that they had to clear it all out and make a pathway and I, I think it's good um, we are gonna be adding this sort of variation stuff all over the place uh, I just wanted to get the pathway laid out because I think the pathway is important it kind of leads you to this and so I wanted to if you have any ideas how to make this even more interesting let me know um, but like I said this is just kind of what I was thinking of at the time I do find it interesting you can't okay uh what why couldn't I place it before? I couldn't place snow on... Maybe it's on slabs. Ooh, I bet it's on slabs. One of these is slabs. Yeah, you can't place it on slabs. Gotcha. It was a slab. That's weird. I feel like you should be able to place it on a slab if it's not, like, if it's at the top. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, I do... I kind of like how this area is all snowy. 
and I still have this grassy area. <clears throat> Just a funny thing, I think. Um, but I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys get out of here, brain. This is my outro. Um, hope you guys like the progress. Hope you guys are liking the series. Uh, sorry today that it might have been a little rambly. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys like this. If you have, let me know all your ideas and stuff. Um, I have yet, to, the actual video still has yet to release. Um, it's supposed to release today, but uh, I was too excited to start and I wanted to play this some more um, just to get uh, some, I don't know, work done and some, I don't know, I've been enjoying myself in this. Uh, and so, sorry that I uh, <clears throat> jumped the gun a bit and went ahead and made a house design and stuff I think it's good I think we're gonna have fun with this and the, I mean the goal of this series is not not totally world building in the sense like massive towns and stuff it could be we could get into that um, but I also wanted to start this because I have thought about doing like live streaming potentially not probably anytime soon but I wanted this to be an option for live streaming because if we do live streaming, then we can get a lot of stuff done. Like all this monotonous stuff can be done kind of on camera um, while just hanging out and talking to you guys. Um, so I have thought about that, but don't expect that anytime like soon. I gotta figure out my job first <laughs> and then uh, and then we'll, we'll figure that out. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like in real life. Uh, if you like what we're doing, and uh, if you uh, are like what I'm doing, I guess, here on the channel, and you want to see more, feel free to subscribe, join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.